Grady everyone, Fuzzwolf here, and today I'm going to be teaching everyone how to play Minecraft in single player. We might do multiplayer a little bit later, but for now, we're just going to do single player. So first off, you start off by clicking single player. Here, it'll take you to all of the worlds that you have made at any point ever. Including ones that you put dates on. Because, you know, why not? Now, if you're wanting a new world, you create the new world. If you want one that you already have, click on it and click Play Selected World. We're going to be making a new world, so you click Create New World. Then you put in a name. World. That is world. Now, here you can change the difficulty, whatever kind of game you want, be it survival, hardcore, creative, or survival. You can put cheats on or off for changing up which game mode you want in-game. Now you got difficulties such as easy, normal, hard, and peaceful. You can go to world options, give yourself a bonus chest at the beginning, generate structures, mess with the world type, or you could import settings from, say, somewhere else you find on the internet. There are data packs that you could just drag and drop in here if you wanted to make a different style for your game. These are how the game works. Sorry, I got a little encapsulated with the fact that you can literally just turn off fall damage. Now then, you can get rid of raids, forgive dead players, angered neutral mobs stop being angry when the targeted player dies nearby. Or you could just turn it off and make them angry even when they're back to being near them. Entity cramming threshold is 24 max. So that means you could actually turn this up as far as you wanted. Is that how that is that how you say it? That is correct. Okay. There is an entity cramming limit. We're gonna put it at the regular 24. Now then, once you're done messing with all of this, you're gonna click create world. Now before we get into the world, things are gonna get a little complicated. It's going to look just like real life, except everything is a cube. Now, unlike real life, you can't just walk your legs like a regular person. No, you have to use a keyboard and a mouse. You use the mouse by dragging it around like this to look around. Now, left click is for using an item to break something or hit something. Left click places an item or uses an item like that. Opening a crafting table, E opens your inventory for crafting. Now, W is forward, S is back, A, left, and D is right. Now, you can see there are some very abnormal looking things in here. That's a pig, just so you know, because, you know, you have to make sure at times. Those right there, they're sheep. And here are some horses. Yes, you can ride horses, but we're not going to deal with that right now. There's chickens. Here are some nice little squid. That's lava. You don't want to touch it. This, on the other hand, is water, which is good to touch. So, just touch it. Touch water. But make sure not to touch grass, though, because grass is deadly. Just kidding. Grass is not deadly. Touch as much grass as you want. Now then these things, they're trees, obviously, because you can see they're trees. This, this is an ass. It is a donkey. It's a total ass. And that over there, you can see a little bit. That thing right there, that's a village. And what did I do with my controls? I'm not sure. Oh, this looks really weird. Everything's moving so slow. 
This is the weirdest movement ever. Okay, then. well, back to normal movements now. Usually you'd start off by punching a tree. It really hurts your fists, but it's okay. You don't take any damage from it. You see that little heart down in the bottom? This one right here? That's your health. And this one right next to it, the ones that have, like, chicken leg drumsticks, they're actually shanks, but those, those are your hunger bars. If it ever die, if this ever goes all the way down, you stop being able to run, and you start to die. You start to lose those hearts. Now, again, you right click to open stuff. This, this thing is a bed. You can't use it during the day because it's not nighttime. But this, this is not a bed. This, on the other hand, is a chest, which you would like to get. This is a pressure plate, which makes noise, pretty much. That's pretty much all it does. It makes noise. Now that you hear that noise, there's a skeleton near us. This guy right here, he's a villager. Oh, and those are cats. Those things right there, the black and white ones, yeah, they're cats. This is a villager. He's kind of dumb and doesn't want bread. This stuff, though, this is hay. It gives you bread. Don't worry about the villagers. You can steal from them. They've had an agreement with Mojang, the creators of this, made an agreement where every player can just steal of all the food they want, and Mojang won't kill them in their sleep. This is an iron golem. He protects these guys because they think that the iron golem can keep Mojang from killing them in their sleep if they do wrong. So they have an iron golem just in case. Now then, we get this stuff. And this, these hay bales, they turn into wheat. Lots of wheat. Ooh, we got another chest, which gives us more bread. If you double click, like, if you have stuff spread out everywhere, like this, and you want to just not click through everything and then move it slowly into your thing, you can double click and then click, shift click. And then you're good. That's sand. This is dirt, and this is sand. That's a torch. Don't touch it because it might burn you. I'm just kidding. You can touch it all you want. It doesn't burn at all. These. These things, they're kind of just here. They're melon. And they taste pretty good, but I like bread more, because bread is better. This thing has a chest, and it's inside is bread and compass. Compass points to exactly where you were when you first came into the game. So basically, this compass points to where you will go when you die. Now then, there is another chest. There is a lot more bread. This guy right here, he's dumb. So, I'm going to show you something very amazing. First off, you're gonna go on two hay bales. Now then, this guy right here, you're gonna wanna slap this. Then you're gonna wanna walk away and put two hay bales. Oh, wait, nope, I lied. Make that three hay bales. Give me a second. I got to get another three hay bales. Give me a second, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir. Yes. Oh, crap. Don't don't hit me right now. I'm not ready. Okay, sir. Come here. Yes, come here. Now, he can't reach at this distance because he's too stupid. But you can just slap him on top of his head, and it hurts his entire body somehow. What you don't want to do is fall on him, because he'll just kill you instantly. So, after you break your hand on this man that's literally made of iron, you can just take all of the drop loot from him. To do that, you gotta slap him until he disappears back to his mom. Actually, I think that they don't have arms. I think that they just go to the no to the back rooms. They just no clip. As soon as you slap them, all the way dead. Come on. 
What? You want melon slice? You can't have a melon slice. Melon slice beat you up. Yeah. Wait, let's use the power grass. Yeah. Power grass. Power grass compels you to die. You're a video game character. You can't touch grass anyway. Grass is touching you, meaning you are no. Sometimes they have flowers because they're really nice, but then they also have iron, which is good. It's much better than flowers. Now what you're gonna want to do with this, what you're gonna gonna do with this, you're wanna gonna just no clip the tree and you know make gravity stop working for a second. You're gonna want to make some planks. Then you're gonna want to make those four planks into one crafting table. Then you're gonna want to take this crafting table, set it down, do this. Now you have a bucket. Leave the crafting table because nobody needs it. Now you're gonna want to come over here and do this. Milk the cow. That way you have milk. Unlimited milk. Always milk. And you can take one on the road with you. And you can juggle. See? It's juggling milk. Now then. You're gonna go running off somewhere probably and just explore everything. What you're gonna need to do instead is get up on top of the highest building physically possible. Oh wait, that's a pumpkin. You're gonna wanna get on top of the highest building or like highest mountain or anything that you can ever find. Touch grass on your way there because, you know, wheat seed. Hopefully not have your game entirely lag out, which would be good. So you're going to want to get up on top of the highest mountain, like the highest point you can physically get to, which is going to be up there at the very top. So to get up there, probably gonna need to have some resources because it's not easy to climb up mountains like that and also you're gonna want to be very very careful whenever you're near water because otherwise an axolotl might jump out and try and kill you yes axolotls are very dangerous they can kill you especially when you run into any more than zero if you run into more than zero, you're going to die instantly. So, drown yourself. And then while you're drowning yourself, you go faster in water, which is amazing. Now, after drowning yourself for a bit, you're going to want to go up here. Now, I know not all games are the same, so you're not always going to have this massive mountain nearby. That's okay. Just, you know do this thing that I'm going to show you. You're going to do this. You're going to take this and you're going to left click. See? Then you can get up higher. Now, once you've gotten to the highest point you can get to, You're going to do the smartest thing anyone has ever done in the history of anything. You're going to build your base here. To get your base going, you're going to need some resources. So, gather some resources. That's good. Gathereth the resource. Now, you see it's turning to night time, which is not good, because more of the bad guys are going to come out. And they don't like the thing that you did to the villagers earlier, so they're going to try and kill you. But that's okay. You have your trusty grass, so you'll be okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take a bunch of this stuff, and you're not going to use it up here. No, 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 no. You're going to get 26 should be good. It should be good. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to build your base really, really high up. So you're going to do this. You're going to build it up really, really high. Now, you're going to want to use about 16 of them. Now then, you're going to go out two, 
and then build your little tiny base. Oh, hey, no. If you misplace it, it's fine. Just break it and put it where it goes. Now you've got a good base. Now then, what you're going to want to do next is get more resources. So you're basically just going to do this. Now then, once you've done that, you're dead. You can't use this again. So don't try and press respawn because it won't work anyway. What you're going to do is go to title screen, press title screen again, then you're going to go back through that to single player, and you're basically just going to click delete, delete, cancel, and then quit game. And that's how you do it. Thanks for watching. See y'all next time.